And welcome back in once again, Bandits fans. This is Mitchell Kieran with another player interview. And today we have a left-handed pitcher out of Crowder College in Blue Springs, Missouri. We have Ryan Miller for the upcoming Bancroft Bandits summer of 2019 season. So, Ryan, thanks for joining me tonight, man. Yep, no problem. It's a pleasure having uh, me on here. All right, so we're just going to go through the career of Ryan Miller here, and we'll take it back to your high school days. You know, you had a very successful career out of uh, Blue Springs High School uh, in Missouri, uh, where in your senior season you were 5-0 and on the mound. You gathered first-team all-district, all-area, and all-conference honors. Um, you want to just describe to us uh, your high school and the program at Blue Springs, yeah, you know, where you became like a top prospect left-handed pitcher? Um, it's actually kind of a funny story. Uh, first off, I didn't make my high school team my freshman year. And after my freshman year, I devoted myself to become a better baseball player. So I put endless hours in and out of the game. So I went into freshman year, not really thinking much, had an okay summer. And then sophomore year came around, I'd say, and that's when I started to get better and better. And then junior years when I really started to notice it and my velocity started going up and I didn't really, I was on JV as a junior, got my first varsity start against the number one team, Staley, as a junior as well. Um, and then went into senior year and just dominated, I'd say. I had a really good season. I didn't lose a game at all my senior year. I went 15-0, and went 10-0 in the summer. So I had a really dominating senior campaign i'd say awesome man that's an awesome story man way, way to trust the process and uh i guess after that you know you were led to butler community college you know that was a powerhouse program and there you made an immediate impact for the grizzlies and you know you were obviously in a Harris conference but one of my favorite stats of yours you know you had a k through nine innings ratio of 8.36 you know one of the best on the team and you know you definitely held your own uh, could you just describe your freshman year of college you know where it seemed like you made a pretty immediate impact out of the bullpen uh my freshman year of college i'd say it was uh I'd say at first it was more of a reality check when I got there, but once I got there, I settled in a little bit and became more comfortable with myself and put more work and just let the process begin, and I let all that hard work show on the mound. Awesome, and uh, I understand now you're redshirting at uh, Crowder College. You know, that's another great program that right now is sitting at a record of uh, 41 and 13. Do you want to just uh, describe your current situation there at the program at Crowder? Uh, yeah, so I'm redshirting this year. I transferred from Butler at semester, and I know some of the coaches down there at Crowder. I hit them up, and I was like, I'm transferring. What do you think the possibility is of me going to your school? And within, I'd say, not even a couple hours, they hit me back up, and they asked me if I wanted to come on a visit. So once I saw about all the records and how often they are getting guys to go to D1s or even the pro level and D2s. I just had to go. It's just a win-win for me. And the pitching program there is just next to none. It's the best, in my opinion, in junior college baseball. Very nice. Very nice there, man. And uh, I understand this upcoming summer uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of playing time for the Bancroft Bandits team uh, in the Pioneer Collegiate Baseball League. So uh, you're just going to be coming up. It's a Bancroft Iowa for your summer. Um, and in your news release, you know, uh, by that was tied up by my head coach uh, of the team and, and my big brother, Michael Kieran, you know, he had a lot of nice things to say about your play. Uh, some of those things I wanted to point out was, you know, you pitch, you pitch very well in high-pressure situations. You have very good strikeout ability with your pitches, and you have a great work ethic and training ability, which obviously now in, in your in your own ones put it, that, you know, that could attest to that, but... Can you also attest to these comments uh, in your own words? Like, you know, what do you believe you do well on the mound? Uh, what I believe I do well, to be honest, I think I hide the ball very well, and that's what gets me to have a lot of strikeouts or ground balls, in my opinion. And I just don't think the hitters see me very well when I'm on the mound. They they really don't expect much because I'm not very tall. But once I get on the mound, it's just I'm in my own world, and I kind of just, uh, I guess you could say, don't hear all the noises outside and whatnot so I kind of just like I'm used to it I don't know I really like the high pressure situations and being a closer in my opinion is way better than being a starter so (laughs) 
Right on there, man. Right on. So uh, do you want to describe to me what that recruiting process was uh, like for you? You know, how did Coach Kieran uh, get you to come to Bancroft to play for the Bandits this summer? Uh, he actually messaged me on Instagram. I think it was in December or November. I don't remember, but he messaged me, and I looked up, I looked up the team and the league after that, and just telling me all these great things and about how he had these great players the following year. And I just I wanted to get away from home this summer, and I think it will help me in my baseball career. Without a doubt, and you're going to be playing on a very historic field. You know, with a lot of talented hitters on your team as well as opposing. Um, do you have any high hopes uh, for the team this upcoming summer as well as any personal goals for yourself uh, for the upcoming season? Uh, I'd say for goals for the team is to win the whole league. I think we have enough talent. I've looked at all the guys that coaches recruited. Um, it's going to be a pretty stacked team. And then for goals for myself, I would say just have a really – K to nine ratio and have at least under a two ERA is my goal and pitch quite a bit of innings. So that's my main focus right now. And do you have any uh, possible goals for after uh, Crowder? Obviously, you said uh, they had a great pitching program there, and uh, you know where where would you like to see yourself uh, for the next two years um, after after Crowder? I'd say probably after Crowder. My goal is to go play at either Indiana State or Missouri State, one of those schools, or whatever school would give me an opportunity. And I think I would help the team a lot to whatever uh, coach or school would give me an opportunity. But hopefully at the Division One level. Well, all right. Only time will tell. But obviously, you know, you're a very hardworking player, and you hold your own very well. Only five foot nine, but you obviously can control the play, can control any count. So I'm, I'm looking forward. You know, to seeing you pitch from the left-handed side this upcoming summer. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, let me think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'd say uh, probably whenever Coach Kieran also hit me up and, like, he told me about all the the guys, like I said earlier, that were he had on his team last year. I looked at the record. It was just like a no-brainer for me. And... I've just gotten some contact with some of the guys, and they seem like they're real genuine guys, and I'm really, really excited to play this summer and play in Bancroft and bring back some good baseball in Bancroft as well. well. Awesome. Sounds like we got ourselves a great left-handed pitcher incoming here, Ryan Miller, going to be bringing some good velo and a great attitude to a great team for the upcoming Pioneer season for the Bancroft Bandits. So, uh, Ryan, uh, you know, best of luck for the rest of your collegiate, uh, collegiate career, <clears throat> and um, looking forward to meeting you in a month. And uh, let's go, Bandits! Yep, you too. Thanks, uh, Mitchell. I appreciate it for you having me on here. Absolutely. Thanks for talking, man.